Good day everybody, welcome to another video. Today I am revisiting the car tutorial. So here is an update video on the tutorial on one of the techniques I need to show you. I need to show you how to merge and merge the surface together and make the car a solid. So it's pretty simple, but there was a user asked me for for this um, technique, so I'll just quickly show it to you, but basically it's pretty self-explanatory. We've got the merged surfaces here and solidify that will make it a solid car. All right. Okay, so basically when you have your car, you're outside of the surface feature. If you select your car, click again, if you click and if you see that it's green, that means it's good. You can merge them together. Where it's not green, that means some surface you need to cut. Let's say surface, this surface here, we need to cut here, trim there, and before we can join that part together. So let's say this one here. This one is not together with the rest of the surface because they don't connect at the edge. So we need to fix that, you need to trim that and make sure the surface align and they're matching and make sure there's no gaps in your model before you solidify. So let's say, have a look at this. Actually this one's already done. All right, we'll just fix the back bit here. So for every surface you select where you find that it's not, where it's not, um, Okay, let's go, go and edit. So that surface there where it's not joined with the rest. So we need to go in and fix that up. So select your surface and go to the surface trim and select the edge to remove. Except, oh, actually did I do that wrong? Yep, that's already fine. But this one, we need to trim it on the top here. Let's trim, trim there and doesn't seem to trim. Okay, so sometimes you can't seem to trim the surface. That means there's just really complicated connection of curves. What we need to do is check, regenerate and check the corners. We might want to unlink them. So select the connecting curve might want to unlink them just go in here and go to unlink and go back to this curve and let's bring that hold shift and make it snap onto the curve of this surface so we can trim that so let's try, let's try that again so trim click on here and that's not do that All right, so I think this one's not drawn on the surface, so we might just need to do that. That. So let's go delete, delete this surface and redraw that. So this time we're gonna draw curve on the surface. And bring it to the top there. Just want, just check that, make sure it goes right on the edge. So there's no tolerance issues in this one as well. So let's just bring that down, hold shift, make sure it's a circle. And this time when we trim it should work. All right, that's all good now. So we can create the surface over here. So select the four edge here and create the surface. So yep, it's tangent curvature. Alright, so basically you go in and fix all that up and now we go to accept the style. Okay, once your model loads, when you select the surface, it's all green. So that's what you gotta do, you gotta go in, start trimming the surface and make sure they line up and they should all turn green, fix all the holes 
and now I'm going to show you how to how to merge so hold control and select the surface you want to merge click merge and basically click accept and it will create a merge surface so now we select that that two mirror surfaces join together as one now so let's say here's another example where we want to join these two surfaces they're connecting right there so merge again and accept the tick so pretty basic so basically go in and make sure all your surfaces are joined and join everything together so we need to cut up here so we can join the the windscreen and the bonnet and once you do all of that go go ahead and select everything once that's um that's ready to be solidified this button here when you click that it will make it a solid um, model and it will turn a gray color because it's a solid model for quilts it um, sh should be a purple color if, if you don't assign a material but yeah if you select all your surfaces and go solidify it will become one surface uh, all right i'll just make a new file and demonstrate that f that for you so let's say if i have a cylinder shape so let's let's do a sketch and draw a cylinder and go extrude and we'll leave it as a quilt extrude as a surface it will create a quilt shape and i mean a quilt um, surface type it's a blue color that means it's not solid so to make this a solid basically we need to create the cap so select your select your model and i think you type cap here no, stop. just click fill here and select your sketch okay what you need to do is just select the sketch we'll select that and click fill and it'll create a, a surface there so for the top bit we need to create a plane and make a sketch first so click the plane make sure there's a plane there and how do I make it matching okay that's a dilemma so we'll make this 180 and click OK and we'll edit the extrusion 180 as well I think I'm sure there's a better way to do this but so just get, make a sketch click on that plane and project let, I'll project the curves I'll make the curves there and create a fuel and we have our free surface we'll select them all and you can go merge accept and now it creates a merge version and then we go solidify and accept and it turns a gray color that means this is a solid object so so basically how to sol make your your car model a free a uh, solid op model uh, merge all your surface together make sure there's no gap select the merge the final merge file and click solidify that's so that's how you do it hope that i hope you found that useful and uh, if you have any question let me know uh, so yeah, have a great day everybody, see you later.